Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsbury here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a remote destination within the uh, the Vigil client software here. Now the destinations are where we export our footage once we've captured something with the uh, digital recorder. So for instance, if you happen to capture a burglary or whatever it is, and you want to get it off of the machine, you want to export it from the machine, well we do have to tell the software where to save it. Now since we don't know what uh, PC you might be installing the remote client software on it, there's nothing set in there as a default value. So we do want to add one one right after we get the uh, the client software installed here. So go ahead and come up here to the top, click on the settings button. That'll open up the little drop down. First thing you want to do is click settings here. Now we are in the remote client software's settings. Now notice about halfway down, the one that we're after is going to be destinations. Mine is entirely blank. I don't have anything at all in there. And of course, if you had this on, say for instance, you wanted to export to a thumb drive, you would want to plug your thumb drive in at this point so the windows could see it, so we could add it as a destination. So from here, go ahead and come up to the top, click add, go ahead and give it a destination name. In this case, I will just call it, uh, I'll call mine videos, okay? And the destination path, the browse button is actually over here off to the right, the little button with the dot, dot, dot in it. I'll go ahead and click on this guy. This will open up my computer and you can now browse to whatever location that you want. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, select the exports folder on my particular system here. So I'll go ahead and click okay. Now you'll notice I've got a couple things down below here. Do I want a default on? Do I want default off? Do you want it to automatically select this location at any given time? Uh, you can certainly set that, but in this case, I want to choose mine manually every time. So I'll leave mine set to a default off. Now, chances are you probably do want to click include DV player as well as the auto run files. Now, what this will do is this will put our digital video player onto whatever media you're exporting to right alongside the video. So for instance, if you're burning a DVD or a CD or putting a video on a thumb drive, we're also going to include the digital video player along with it. That way you can take this disc or thumb drive to uh, any PC out there, plug this guy into it, and now you have the ability of not only playing back the video, but you can also authenticate the video. So I'd include, uh, I would click those buttons to include those no matter what. Uh, go ahead and click OK at this point. You'll notice it now does show up um, as one of my destinations here. And from this point, make sure you hit OK, because if you don't hit OK or you just close this window, it actually won't save those settings. So you certainly do want to click OK, OK here. That will apply it and you are good to go. That's all there is to setting up a destination on the client. We'll see you on the next video.